This video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. And we're going to head and click OK. Now, if in your t shirt it's a little bit more complicated, what you can do is obviously not use so much fuzziness and you want to select the whole t shirt. So you want to be choosing this eyedropper tool here and you want to be selecting clicking and clicking clicking and clicking so you get all the different for example in this here I'd be clicking in this darker area here and this even darker area this area here this lighter area and so forth so you want to select just the t-shirt right so but like I said in this case it's quite easy so uh, we're gonna go ahead and click OK on that and now we're gonna go into our hue and saturation layer okay now we're going to control and backspace to fill in our image uh, the, the layer mask. We want to now deselect, so uh, Control and D to deselect. And now we want to inverse that selection because what we're doing right now is uh, modifying everything but the t-shirt. So we want to inverse that. And that is a just Control and I to inverse. And there we are. So essentially what this hue and saturation layer is doing is just making modifications to the color of just the t-shirt and nothing else around it, right? So. As long as we're on the same step here, what you want to be seeing is your t-shirt will essentially be in this layer mask will be in white and the things that are not supposed to be modified in black. Okay. Now we're going to double click here into the hue and saturation layer. We're going to open up our um, info palette here. And now if you'll remember, uh, what we had was a uh, uh, a uh, LAB color of 57, 48, and 33. Now I'm just going to, uh, making sure we have colorize here, of course, selected. I'm just going to zero out things here. So here is zero, saturation is zero, and lightness is zero. And the way this works is that lightness, which is, we will just work in reverse of this. So essentially lightness here at the bottom takes care of the L, which is actually lightness here, at the top. So this bottom part takes care of this top part. Saturation, the middle part, takes care of the middle part here, A. And hue, the top part, takes care of the bottom part here, B. So if you just remember to just work your way from bottom to up and top to bottom. Um, so what we want to do is just match the figures we had. So in L, we had a figure 57. Right now it's 19. So we're just going to move the lightness slider until we get to 57. There we are. Okay, so now we, we are new. This is what it used to be. Now we are at 57. Okay, now we're going to move on to A in the middle. So we'll go to the middle section. And that one was 48. So we're just going to move around the slider again until we hit 48. Okay. And now the last step, the top part. And this gets a little bit tricky because what you need to focus on here is just the bottom part here. Even though when you move the slider, these two numbers will change. But the, this one will revert back to 48. It'll just snap back to 48 once you hit the right thing. You need to pay attention to just this bottom part here. It'll be tempting, but just pay attention to just the bottom part and not both. And the bottom part was 33. So we're just going to move that over. And we we're just looking over here at the bottom. We're looking for 33. Not negative 33. We're looking for positive 33. So we're just going to move it along till we find it. Oop, there we are almost okay so as you can see we have let me just check my notes here 57 48 and 33 so we're all good so we'll go ahead and click OK and now you will see that we have this is actually exactly the same color as this part of the t-shirt and um, it might not seem like it right now to you perhaps but uh, I'll prove it to you here that it is exactly the same color I will cut a piece of this image here where we sampled from I'll just do a control and J to just copy that little part and throw it over here to the image and select that. Look at that. You can barely tell. It's the exact same color. So we've managed to put the exact same color of the t-shirt onto this black t-shirt. Now, there is one modification that you might want to be doing, and that is the modification of actually adding contrast. Generally, when you do this, you lose a lot of the contrast to the image. It looks very uh, wishy-washy, and it, all this here would look better if it were darker, more contrasting. So what we can do here is uh, just go into the uh, adjustment layers, and we're going to go into levels. And in levels... And we also have to bring up here our info palette again here. In levels, what we're looking to do is to add some contrast. So the contrast is added by moving the black slider. Now pay attention here to 57 because this is the only number that will be changing. As we add some contrast, we're actually changing the color as well. 
of the world well, luminosity, essentially, right? We're changing the luminosity. And to battle that luminosity change, this slider here, the white slider, will actually bring it back. So wherever you want to set your contrast to, you'll then have to go in with the white slider and move it in until you get the numbers to match again. So you get 57, and there you are. So you have some form of a contrast here. Now, of course, you can always add as much contrast as you want, and in the case of T-shirts, it'll just bring more of, it'll just make more of the folds more uh, more apparent, more obvious. So I'll just show you that right now. Just add this here to 90. So we have 44, and now we just move it over to 57. There we are. We'll click OK, and as you can see, we've added uh, a lot of the contrast here. So you can see that the, the, the folds, the creases are really emphasized. But essentially, it's the exact same color. And all you can play around with here is uh, the uh, saturation. So there you are. Very little saturation. Uh, contrast, sorry. A lot of uh, very little contrast and a lot of contrast in that. But essentially, we've matched the color. And uh, like I said, it's uh, it's actually, a, if you think about it, it's a pretty simple process. It's just very methodical. Uh, you just have to go one line at a time making these changes. And uh, there you are. So once you have, you know, uh, played around with this and uh, can actually do it, you know, a few more times without having to resort to a lot of notes, it's actually quite a, a quick process and a fun process and you can change anything. Anything at all. Match the colors of anything under the sun. So there you are. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.